When it comes to lighting and specifically off-camera flash, one of the biggest mistakes we tend to make is we don't understand the value of fill light. In this tutorial, I wanna walk you through it. We're gonna talk fill light, its importance, what not to do. We're gonna level up your lighting abilities. What's up friends, my name is Pi. Welcome to SR Lounge. Welcome to my home, at least the living room, where the magic happens. We take pictures here. I don't know what you're thinking I was gonna say. Let's go ahead and just start with this. This is Kiara, our lovely model. We will link her up so you guys can give her a follow if you would like. This is Gandalf. You're modeling too? Let's get right into this. I wanna walk you through our scene if Gandalf lets me, and bonus points if you know why we named him Gandalf. Post in the comments. But look, in my living room off to the right side, we just have lots of windows, and I love it. We get this like bright, kind of nice, natural vibe in the room. I have Kiara placed right here, and I'll show you the angle in just a moment. I'm gonna to shoot towards the room, like the empty space, so we kind of create a bit of depth in the scene. And off to this side, I have my Westcott FJ400 with the Rapid Box. So this is the Switch Octa Medium. I've placed this here because I want it to match the natural light direction that we have. I just wanna kind of amp it up and really chisel her out. Okay, let's come to the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and just take a natural light image just to kind of show you the composition that I'm going for. So I'm gonna to go to uh, one to another of a second. We're gonna go ISO 800, F1.4, and this is the composition I'm kind of looking at. And I like it, and honestly, I kind of wanted to have that more natural vibe, but we're not gonna talk about that yet. Now here's the mistake. I got the remote on, I'm going to the camera, I'm thinking I like this composition, and I like my aperture at 1.4 because I want some uh, you know, bokeh in the shot. I'm gonna leave my shutters, I'm just gonna knock out all the ambient light and I'm gonna shoot 100 ISO, maybe like 160, and I'll make a little adjustment there. I'm gonna fire the flash at full power, and we get this. Now here's the shot, and honestly, because it's Kiara, she manages to make everything salvageable. All right, I'm not gonna say that there's anything wrong with this type of a look, it's very dramatic. What I'm gonna say is that when we get into flash, we tend to think that flash has to be dramatic, okay? And that can actually, kind of push some people away from flash altogether because they're like, I don't want to create that style of imagery, but it doesn't have to be that way at all. And the second thing is in going for drama all the time in these like very deep, dark shadows, we overlook or we forget the value of fill light. Now, what do I mean by ignoring the value of fill light? Well, your fill is what's going to determine the depth or the level of uh, blacks that you're going to have in your shadows, right? What we often do is we often use one light and we just overpower everything. And so the depth of the shadows just drops away completely. We kind of black out all the shadows. And I'm gonna say that that can be a style in and of itself, okay? So there's not anything necessarily wrong with that. It's when we don't know when to utilize it. So instead, and, and by the way, this applies to any type of a scene, right? In this scene, our fill light is basically the ambient light around us. But when you're working in the studio and it's just your studio lights, you're gonna to have to set up a light specifically for fill. Let's start with the camp framework. So every time you approach a scene, I want you to think composition, ambient light, modify, photograph. It's a framework that I harp on a lot if you watch my tutorials, but we're gonna start composition first. I'm gonna brighten my exposure to actually expose for Kiara's skin, just so we have a little comparison point, okay? So 1200 F1.4 and ISO 1600 gets us this. From here, I want you to start by setting the ambient light, which is gonna determine your fill. What I mean by this is I want you to decide on what you want your shadows to look like in the scene. So before again touching the flash and doing anything here, I'm gonna go back to my viewfinder and I'm gonna just adjust the ISO down to get to a point that I like. So around ISO 400, okay? This is the point where I like the depth of my shadows. I want you to do the same thing when you're in the studio, okay? Only you're not using your in-camera exposure because here we have ambient light galore, right? In the studio, you're not using the, the camera exposure to determine fill light so much. You're using another light, okay? So you're gonna set up, I, I would first recommend this, set up a flash first to determine your fill light in the scene. Decide on that first. I've done that in camera here. Next, go to the flash, your main light. And from that place, dial in the setting that you want to have. This is what I mean about setting the intention. And when we get to the camp framework, now we're talking about the modify piece, right? So we've set the ambient light, which determines the level of fill in the scene. 
Now we're gonna modify and determine what we want our subject to look like with that flash. So look at two, I love this. That's barely any light output, but it's perfect. And what I'm doing right now is I'm using that ambient exposure. That's what's determining the fill. It's what's determining what I want my shadows to look like. And that's what's setting my intention for the shot. So I want you to recognize this. It's okay to knock out, you know, to, to make things very dramatic where you only see the light that you're adding. But to get to an extra level of refinement, I want you guys to start thinking about your fill, thinking about the intention of the shot and first controlling what you want shadow to look like, then adding light over it to create that extra layer. Now from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and start posing Tiara and we're gonna shoot away. With this overall exposure, what you're gonna notice with this is we get like a very sort of commercial vibe to the images. I really dig it. That's it for me, but before you bounce, first, we're gonna link up all the gear that we use in the description of the video. Second, we have a free mastermind group on Facebook. I know, maybe you don't love Facebook, but it's absolutely incredible. In this place, we are stuffing it with value. It's literally the most valuable group you're gonna find for portrait and wedding photographers. So join us there. Last, we're also gonna link up Kiara so you guys can give her a follow. Oh, and I guess not last. I also read all the comments. So comment below if you guys have any questions, thoughts. I get a lot of my ideas for future videos from each of you. And that's it. Oh, and Ganoff wants to say bye. You want to say bye? <laughs>